What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today, I got my uh, little bike mount in. I'm going to take this bike mount I got from Amazon. We're going to turn it into a light scope mount. So y'all come along. All right, y'all. So my bike mount is right here. You can see I got plenty of room between my foot pedal and the bike mount. That's where I wanted it mounted. It was right there on the deck. So I used, uh, I used some two and a half inch lag bolts and bolted it right to the floor. Um, that's the way I chose to do it. I think it's going to work best for me. And then it kind of just hangs over the side right here. Um, and so stand by, we'll show you guys what else we need for this. All right, you guys, so the parts we're going to need for this build, obviously this bike mount from Amazon that I, I will uh, include a link down below. Uh, this Amazon, this bike mount, uh, here we need a four foot section of one inch PVC pipe and as you can see I have my perspective mode live scope mount for all my OVL32 you don't have to have the perspective mount you can do this with just the 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 mount that was included with the transducer you can just mount it to the side but I wanted mine to have perspective mount so I went ahead and got the perspective mount mounted it to the pole as you can see that's already on there um, so we have a four foot section of one inch PVC pipe, inch piece of inch and a quarter. And the important thing is, is that this inch and a quarter slides right over. It fits like a glove here. I don't know if you guys can see. It fits really good. The uh, one inch piece fits right inside of that. And so it can turn really easy. So you need about a five, four, four five inch piece, six inch piece of that. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll show you guys why you need that in a minute. We need a one inch PVC elbow. And also, oh, so, so also, so on the inch and a quarter, you need about this five, six inch piece, whatever. And then about a two inch piece, two and a half inch piece. And I'll show you guys why we did that in a minute. So those two pieces of inch and a quarter, your four foot piece of one inch, and then another two and a half foot ish piece of one inch for the handle. And I'll show you guys all that in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's what that's that. So what I did was is what what we're doing here. Let's see if I can, if you guys can see this. All right, guys. So. The first thing we're going to do, obviously, we have this mounted in. We have it screwed in where we want it to where we want it to sit. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our our piece of inch and a quarter, and it's going to fit right in the bike mount. And this will this will all make sense here in just a second, okay? So there we have that. It's going to fit right in that bike mount. We get this where we want it. We're going to slide our other piece over the top. Make sure you guys can see what I'm rocking with here. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I have my transducer pole slid in here like this. I'm going to slide my other piece of inch and a quarter over the top, like so. I've already got these pre drilled. It's right. Okay guys, so what we did here is I have my one inch piece of four foot section then I have my little piece of inch and a quarter is in the bike mount and that's so that this can slide freely and I have my other little piece of inch and a quarter over my one inch. I'm going to run that in here. As you can see, I already have a pre-drill. We're just going to run a stainless steel screw into this little piece, keep that in place. So there's that. So now you can see that it moves freely. There's no problem there. Everything looks good. And we'll see. I'll show you guys up close. This is what <clears throat> working with. So I have the pole up here. And then this is the little piece of inch and a quarter. This piece. And then as you can see, it just rotates freely. And the live scope is able to pan. 
like so. Okay guys, so what I have next is I have my two, two and a half foot just for my handle and we're getting ready to glue this on the top of the transducer mount. So what, I'm, what I've got is I've got a 45 degree elbow that's gonna go here and that way my arm is up, it's gonna be perfect whenever I'm standing. I wanna be able to stand and pan my, my live scope. So I'm gonna put my 45 degree up here. I've just got some, uh, some regular PVC glue. I'm gonna just put some glue on here. PVC cement, actually is what it's called. Sorry, the neighbor's mowing right now, so it's gonna be, audio is gonna be poor. <clears throat> so anyway, we're gonna mount this here, and I'm going to try to mount it where kind of trying to mount it where my live scope is pointed so <clears throat> and I can always adjust my live scope later but so we did that I'm gonna glue this other part on my carport's kind of in the way here but that's all right So there we, there we have it. My carport's kind of in the way, but here we have my live scope transducer mount. I'm gonna be able to stand it, be able to be standing and be able to adjust this. All right, y'all, so I didn't like where my mount was. I'm actually not sure that I like this 45 degree now. I like the idea of it before I got it on here. Once I got it on there, I realized it's kind of long and kind of right in the way. So I may trim this down a little bit. I'm not really sure, but uh, that's the way it looks for now. Uh, we're gonna get in and secure these wires for this, trend, for this live scope, and we'll let you guys watch that. Okay guys, so the next step is gonna be to secure this wire. And so what we're gonna do, what you don't wanna do is use zip ties. Uh, Garmin does not recommend using zip ties to secure this wire because the live scope has a million little tiny uh, fiber optic cables in there the zip ties cinch down on them can damage them so what you want to do is use electric tape this is just regular electric tape from Harbor Freight um, and so what I'm gonna do when I decide to when I'm, I'm securing this uh, I have my mount on the starboard side uh, what I'm gonna do is make sure that my perspective mount can has, has enough room to go into perspective mode uh, and then, so that kind of—I kind of give myself this little loop in this cable here, and I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys why here, man. So I'm just going to secure the cable here. Okay, so there we can see we have this cable secured and I can turn it over into forward mode which is right about there and I have plenty of room there the cables never getting bent you never want to you never want to make a hard turn or, or, a, or a kink in the in the cable so as you as we can see it uh, we can easily move it from perspective to forward to down and there's no there's no issues with this cable being kinked or anything so I'm just going to run this up the pole, put some more tape on it. I'm going to tape it every so often just to keep it good and secure. Just run a couple beads of tape around it. Run it up the pole. And so I'm running it on the on the side of the pole that's going to be away from the boat. Like I don't want to I don't want to put this cable between the pole and the boat. So if it just in case like it's it starts bumping up against the boat, I don't want to I don't I don't want to damage this cable in any way. That keeping this cable protected is the uttermost important. Utmost important. Keeping this cable protected is important. 
Okay, so here we're gonna come up here. We're gonna secure it just below the. We're gonna we're gonna secure it just below where we mounted it. And so that's gonna be taped. There. And again, we want to make sure that we have plenty of room to move this around the around this this mount here. So I'm going to leave a loop and make sure that it can be secured and that it has plenty of room to turn. You don't want to you don't want to secure it too close and then get it in a bind. So just leave a little loop there about like so. And that's gonna ensure that you don't kink the cable. Throw another piece of electric. Okay guys, so there's the light scope mount. Uh, we have it We have it done. It's good and secured. Um, as you can see, it turns nice. Uh, be sure to tune in for episode two, guys. I will, I will I'll, I'll go and put this in the water. We'll see how it works on the water. And I'll show you guys how to stow this whenever you're going down the road. So y'all be sure and come back. Thanks for watching.